We are going through exercise 17D and in this video I'll be answering question 4 which says the following. For the graph of y equals h of x shown here find, and now what this means is my values of x for which my derivative of h is greater than 0. Now if my derivative is greater than 0 that means I'm going to have a positive rate of change or if you think about this another way the gradient of my tangent at the point will be positive. It's really not that tricky. All you really need to do is look over here and say, hey, look, it's increasing here. That's obviously what I'm looking for. My derivative is going to be positive here. So too over here, it's increasing. So let's highlight that. That's where I'm looking at. Let me highlight this all in blue. And now I need to give you the x values for these regions. So th there's multiple different ways I could do this. I'm just going to do it this way. So my x is going to be um, from negative infinity all the way to negative three right there. Now it's important that you put a round bracket there because you're not including it. And the other place that we'll be considering is from a half to four. So again, round brackets, half to four. Let's now look at our next one, which is saying, what are my values of X for which my derivative is less than zero? Obviously here, it's just going to be where it's decreasing. So it's going to be all here and all here. Again, the way I'm going to write this is that my X is going to be, uh, it's going to be negative three to a half union of four to infinity. Cause that right there is four. So it's four there. Perfect. Now, lucky last, we need to find my values of X for which my derivative is equal to zero. Now this is where we're going to go back and really think about what derivatives are again and thinking about them in terms of being tangents. Because if I were to consider this point right here, so I remember my tangent is only going to touch the line once. Right here, you can see that my tangent is going to have a gradient of zero. So too, if I was to come over here, my tangent is going to have a gradient of zero. And if I was to come up here, once again, my tangent is going to have a gradient of zero. So as you can see, every time it's turning is where I'm having that tangent. Let me get rid of that. Go away. There we go. My tangent has a gradient of zero. So that means right here, what my X is going to be is just negative three, a half and four. And just like that, we have solved this question. So let me actually come over here and just highlight these in yellow. It's the turning points right there that I'm getting my gradient of zero. Hopefully this has been helpful to you and you understand